it's, I've always wanted to tap into it. There's lots of, I've seen it and thought, oh, I could do open badges for this. But Digital Me has given me this opportunity now to have a look at it and, and see how, how accessible it is really. And it really is. I mean, I think I could go away now, not just as part of the Leeds project I'm in, but go back to Scotland and start working with, uh, with, with open badges. And today I've been working on the badge, um, understanding the project in more detail, understanding what other organisations are on board with it. Um, sort of getting a real feel for why it's there, who it's for, um, what skills, if they did a workshop with me, a den building workshop with me, what skills do they get out of it? So it's actually made me think about my work as well. Um, so what basically what they have to do to get the badge, but what value it has for them as well. I'm really looking forward to um, setting some new challenges for the young people we work with. Um, but in a framework that really suits them. Um, we work with people with a learning disability from the age of 14 to 25. Um, so some uh, opportunities can be seen as being quite limited, um, but I think this opens up a whole new box of, of exciting things. Because I, I do a lot of training with parents, and that's one of the things parents will immediately say is, putting Minecraft into education is great, but how do I know what my child has learned and how do I then how do we record that learning? And it's like, actually, badges are a good way of doing that.